So in today's topic, I'm going to give a small demonstrations of how to handle the UI card designs. So this is part of Rabbit Redesign with the Rambal series. Let's get started. Hello all, I am Rambal from Aspera. Happy to see you again. Today I am going to demonstrate how to handle the card designs in your UI design. So I am going to demonstrate with one of my student project. This is a card layout and this is part of the screen. So the student is trying to sell the books. So any user they can buy books through this mobile applications and this is a card design for that. Alright, so now I am going to fix this card layout and these cards are very much important in UI design. First I will make a duplicate of this. Alright, so now this is a book and the title and uh, the author name and the art card and the price. So basically speaking here there are different kind of uh, layouts and uh, arrangements are there. So first thing is I am going to create one small frame. So the frame is into Android large size and I will bring this card inside that. Currently this design is touching edge of the screens. And I'll make one more duplicate so that we can able to see the difference. So here we have to promote the book. So book has to be in bigger size. So here a lot of groups are there. So I'm going to ungroup this. So while you are doing this kind of a card designs, you have to make all the elements in one single card and make one single group. And here there is a one small functionality issues. That is once we can add the item into the cart, then only we can able to see this remove button or delete or recycle bin or delete icon so we don't want this element so we can remove that from here and here this is a size dimension so it's about 358 i'll make it like 360 so now i have to give a margin for both sides so margin would be 16 pixels or 20 pixels so 16 to 20 whichever is your convenient you can give basically i had given 20 pixel margin in both sides all right then this photograph and this background highlighter this highlighter and photograph so this highlighter i'll make it into the left so i select this object i'll make it left then this size here it's the dimensions are 85 pixels so it should be something like multiples of 8 so it could be 88 and also the height so height also it could be something like multiples of 8 so what i will do is about uh, 96 104 yeah so 104 pixel is a multiples of 8 and this one also 104 so while you are doing the UI design if you are keeping all your elements in multiples of 8 this will be easy to manage the dimensions and the proportions so this is a one formula which I am strongly following in my design principle. Alright, so you can also try it out. Alright, so now this is elongated rectangle. Anyway, fine. So and this fonts. Fonts also has been touching everywhere. So first thing is what I will do. Towards to the top alignment and the font size is 80 pixel. Inside the card the font size 20 is too big. So I will make it like. 18 and it should be left alignment and I'll align towards to the right 10 pixel 10 pixel even if you want we can make it one more 10 10 20 pixel right so now it's been bottom 20 left also 20 pixel now I'll move this again if you are doing this kind of a text no need to have it done uh, fixed size you can just keep it as auto with mode and uh, line height and the font size font size would be 13 and the left alignment font line height would be 18 will be fine and no need to have this letter spacing all right then you can delete then there is a space between this it could be 8 or 4 yeah 8 is fine and this button and the button size and corner radius all right this also will make it like ungroup and button size 14 will be better and 0 and 18 then 
14 instead of 14 we can make it 13 and size of the button would be 32 and again 104 and the corner radius would be 6 all right so we make it happen here then we have to move towards to the right hand side and this width of the button is too big so 104 minus 8 96 all right so now we are reducing this size it would be 4 20 is not required we can make it 10 10 is enough or 16 16 or 12 12 12 so now i have to fix this price so price i'm going to make it like towards left align all right and right so now we fixed almost this fonts and the spacing everything we had fixed so now we are going to give one small work so now everything has been fixed over here now i am going to fix the hierarchy so hierarchy in the sense not only the font size so if you are going to fix the visual hierarchy it's not only the size of the font it's a color of the font also has been part of the visual hierarchy so now i am going to fix the color of the font as well so currently i had fixed for the size of the font and this is a heading so this is a heading so i'll make it this is a little medium and the size will keep it something like 16 and semi bold will be better then this one this one will make it 12 and color so color currently i'm using hsl mode so we can reduce the color towards to the saturation side all right so this is the strongest color and these are lightest color and the space between this two zero and next one is our pricing pricing should be something like semi bold 14 semi bold add to card we can keep it like so i had given 16 16 pixels gap over here so you can check it out so bottom 16 right also 16 so same aspect i have to give here as well so all right and this one i'm going to fix and the color and the uh, alignment so now i fix the alignment then color so color probably i can choose the same color and little brighter yeah all right so now i fixed all the stuff even little bit darker more warmer and this font color i'll use same aspect i'm going to use this so a little darker these two colors should be little darker yeah all right so i fixed everything now and uh, the next one the background the card background uh, i had given the color in the background that is the entire frame i had given the color and i prefer to have this kind of a cards in a white color so now this is almost close to white but this is not white so this is almost look like a white but this is not white so always i prefer to have my card color so that is this background color should be in white color increase the contrast of the font and the user can easily read the text and this one also has to be fixed so only the left hand side top and left hand side bottom then that's it so now i'm going to keep this book inside and uh, the height so it should be proportionately all right and so here we are selling the book not this two uh, this color this color is too heavy so i'll make that color into this background color should be in little but this has to be fixed all right that's it so even yeah all right so now i fixed my cards and this is one style of card and i don't want this i'll move it towards to the left all right so now if i want i can give one small mild shadow effects and while applying the shadow it should be smooth and soft so it should not be very harsh all right so now my card is ready and uh, i'll make this as a group and if i'm going to use this in my screen what will happen this will be look very nice so this is a list card 
all right so this is basically currently i had created a card in a list manner so this is a list card so this is we used to call it as a ui card design so now i am going to show the same design into the grid oriented card all right so let's see how we have to create the grid cards i made a duplicate of this so i'm going to delete all so i'm going to retain only this so now we have only 320 pixels so i'm going to create one small rectangle and uh, 320 all right so left and right i had given 20 pixel margin now i have to create the grid grid basically we can able to add only two grids over here so divided by two so this is going to be my grid card size but what will happen there is a space between the grid also is required right so space between the cards also has been required so that also has to be in 20 pixel if you want 20 pixel then you can minus 10 suppose if you want very less space in between the grid then you can give your 5 or 6 pixels so i am giving 6 pixels all right so grid is nothing but this is a portrait mode of uh, design right so this is a landscape mode of design so this is a portrait style of design so i made a duplicate of this then towards to the right then 20 pixel so now we have a gap in between so if you feel this is sufficient then you can do this gap or if you want more then you can reduce as well so you can reduce the grids uh, card size 150 uh, this also going to be 150 and right align so now you see this so there is a gap between 20 pixel over here so left 20 middle also 20 and right also 20 all right so now my grids are uh, dimensions of the grids are ready all right so now i have to fix this design again this is also i'll want to make it like a uh, multiples of 8 as possible as much as possible 200 now this one i'll ungroup and first thing is i'll make a copy properties and the same thing paste properties so now i'll move this elements over here all right so now in this section tempest book by william shakespeare and this price so from left 10 pixel gap and towards to the top and in this scenario what we can do will transform this auto width to auto height and we can reduce the size so automatically this will goes to the two lines and the line height would be 16 pixel and the price we can retain same all right so now we fixed everything so this height is not sufficient seems to be so i'll make it like 240 and I select all the objects and move towards to the bottom all right so now we have this space for uh, showcasing the book all right so now I am taking this and this one also width would be 150 and height same we can leave it as it is and here top left is okay not the bottom left so this one again we need to fix the space all right so now i can take this book i'm going to keep it here all right so this is another set of card all right so if you want we can tweak this in further so the book title would be around 14 pixel is enough and this william shakespeare would be 11 pixel is enough and uh, not required to have book by william so we'll keep it only william shakespeare so everyone will understand and we can have our price 
So price we can keep it as it is or we can reduce one size font. All right and button size. This button what we have to do it's about 154 minus 20. So that is easy to click this button. All right. So now we can move towards the bottom. All right. So now we fixed everything and book cover image also if you want you can make it a little bigger. That's it. So now we fix the cover and the book and uh, this is one style and this is one more style. So I'll make a group of this. So once I complete my card then only I have to create the group. So now I'm going to give a 20 pixel margin in the left and also 20 pixel margin on the right. So now I'll make a duplicate of those again 20 pixel. Now you have one more duplicate. All right. So later you can change the cover image and the title and the author name everything you can change and you can fix this. So this is a card design. So in this design we are transform this design. So we are transform this design into the same list based model cards. Same thing we are transform into grid based cards. So all right, so now you have an idea. So how to transform your normal card design into the beautiful card designs either in a list or grid manner. If you have any queries, you can leave your queries on the comment sections. So I hope you like this topic and uh, I will catch you soon with another interesting topic. Until then, bye bye.